four, three, two, one. Ignition. Wenchang radio signal normal. One one zero normal. Wenchang Guangxue radar normal and radio signal normal. Flight normal. Zendi one one two normal. Zendi three one five normal. Zendi three one five normal. 文昌, radar normal, flight normal, and radio image normal. 同古岭, radio image at Tongguling normal. 317, normal checking. Wenchang Guangxue radar, normal, uh, flat normal, and uh, radio image normal. Zendi one twelve normal checking. Propellant turn off, propellant separated. Stage one rocket turned off. Stage one rocket separated. Three thirteen normal checking. Fairing separated. Fairing separated. Wenchang Guangxue Wenchang Radar Normal and Tracking Normal Three Seventeen Normal Tracking Four fourteen checking normal.
Okay, you were looking at the picture of the flight of Tianzhou 3 cargo craft on yes. board a Long March 7 carrier rocket. And on your left, one time uh, on the left, tracking normal, video image normal, and flight the, uh, normal. On the rocket and facing uh, frontwards. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see from this camera, you can see the body of the uh, Tianzhou 3 cargo ship. Mm -hmm. And you can see on it's the exposed right. exposed in space now. Yeah. Uh, on the right is a 3D animation uh, mm -hmm. to show the status of the launch vehicle itself. Right. Now it is in the flight of the second stage. You can see that the she four engines of the second stage is burning now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second stage have uh, four engines, two are fixed mm -hmm. and uh, two have the rotational uh, units, several units. Right. So the first, uh, first uh, the two uh, fixed engines will be shut off and then the two uh, can, which can move and mm -hmm. then shut off. Uh, and that after that will right. be the separation between the launch vehicle mm -hmm. and the uh, spaceship. And I have to mention that on your right, that 3D animation is based on real-time telemetry as mentioned by Professor Young. It's not a pre-made video program. And on your left, after the payload, uh, fairing deployment, you can see the spacecraft is exposed entirely in space. And talk to us more about the structures we see here. We see a satellite dish um, on the tip of that spacecraft and two containers-like structure there. What are they? <laughs> Uh, well, the, the dish you, you mentioned is, mm -hmm. uh, is a dish for the uh, data relay satellite mm -hmm. for high bandwidth communications. So just like satellite dish. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, and also the difference is that it is movable. It has two servo units which can rotate in two directions. Mm -hmm. So it can face in the direction of the Tianlian data relay satellite at any moment, which oh. can trans transfer, uh, for instance, the videos and oh. other uh, complex uh, data of the, of the... Back to the ground. Exactly. Excellent. And what uh, about those container-like uh, And also you can see the nozzles there. of the attitude control engines. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the Tianzhou uh, cargo ship has multiple engines because you know that the vehicle has to dock with the station. It must have a, a, a capability to not only control its orbit, but mm -hmm. also control its attitude. All right, so those are the nozzles of engines, actually. And also, you see that the, the dash lines mm -hmm. on the right of the 3D animation uh, represent the data link between the ground station and right. the launch vehicle itself. Right, and the rocket is now running on its second stage, is that right? We're preparing for second stage shutdown. Yes. That's going to happen uh, momentarily. Uh, uh, actually speaking, the first will be shut down of the two of the four engines, and then okay. the other two. Mm -hmm. The entire flight is only going to last about 10 minutes. About so 10 minutes, not exactly. Not that long. Not very long. Because uh, it only needs to uh, send the spaceship to a low Earth orbit mm -hmm. with the perigee or the lowest point about 200 kilo kilometers and the high points uh, the same as the station. Mm. And we are more than halfway into the flight already. Yes. And to you, up to this point, everything so far so good? Exactly. The most critical phase has already been passed. Uh, what we mentioned is the, uh, during the flight in the atmosphere mm. uh, because it's more complex and the vibration is more intensive. So it's more possible in that phase to have some failures. Mm. So at this moment, it's already outside the atmosphere. So it's the, the vibration is not so strong and also the condition is better. Mm. Oh, they are looking pretty chill there, actually. I suppose it's like you mentioned, the most difficult stages has already been completed. Yes, it seems that they are already very relaxed now. Yeah, we, we heard actually several rounds of cheerings when we saw successful booster separations, first stage separations, payload fairing, deployment. So it's going great now. So you can see from the camera that the background is already very dark. Outside the, uh, outside the atmosphere, even in the day, uh, you can see that the sky is black. Mm, right. And we can see the clear visual. It's because there are lights you know, built on that spacecraft so that yes. you can illuminate the rocket. And that could provide a good visual reference for the engineers, scientists on the ground there. Currently, it's just uh, under the sunshine. Hmm. And as we speak, where is the, how far is, you know, the Tian, Tianzhou spacecraft away from Tiangong Space Station? Uh, okay, as I mentioned, yeah. the fixed engines, the two fixed engines has already been shut right. down. Right, that's the call out there, a key movement, the shutdown of second stage. So the other two engines will make some 
very slight but very accurate adjustment, adjustment. to make sure that the orbit of the cargo ship. Wait, the vernier engines are mm, shut down. down. There you see a successful spacecraft separation. So great. So the next step will be the unfolding of the solar panels of the uh, Tianzhou 3 cargo ship.